Okay guys, in this video, we're going to go over what are objects and what are arrays and how you can use them in your application. So let's just declare a variable called op and then objects are known as different things that you can have values for. So for example, unlike your variable which can only hold one value per variable name but in objects you can have multiple different values for multiple different variable so for example let's just say i want to call it a object called name and then i'll call this mark so like your variable for example, if I want to call it a variable name mark equal mark, I could call it like this and then save it. However, in your objects, you can have, as I said before, let me just do this. So I can have a variable called mark called uh, site called mark.com. And then ID called one, two, three, four, five. And then I can also have a type true. So one of the benefits of using objects is you can have different types of values with different types of names and entities. So in order for you to use uh, object let me just make sure you understand it you call a declare variable you can call this anything you want and also the variable like we talked about in a previous video it has to have a name which can only be a number and letters for better use and simplicity so there is no conflict and then after you declare a variable you assign it by using an equal sign and then open bracket and you close it with open bracket and then semicolon and then within these brackets in order for you to assign a value to a variable or you use is a colon so whatever name you want to call it colon and then the value you want to assign to it so in this case the very first one is called a string value string value and then we have a numbers and then also we have true or false, which is Boolean value. Just like your objects, arrays can use or store multiple different values. So let's just see how that works. So in this case, call it a var, call, I'll just call it a1 and bracket. This is what is known in JavaScript array bracket open bracket close bracket and within this bracket you can store value as a number as a array a string and things of that nature so let's just say so for example if I want to call it mark one comma mark two comma one comma true and if I want to console this, I'll call it A1. Let's just do this. Let's see how this works. So I want to console the object part of it as well as the array value. See, let's see what this looks like in our browser. So if I do this, as you saw, unlike before, let me just do this as well, actually. This will make more sense to you. So let's just say refresh this so as you saw right here the first one is just a name just one value and then your objects if I open this up with by pressing this little play button it will expand it, it will show me all different values this is your object and then within array which is the last one it has an index what the known as the index so the very first value is called zero one two and three this is how it works and we will look at it when we go through a looping 
uh, video series where we how we loop through each one of these arrays. So just keep in mind that array it starts with a zero value, one value, two, and three. So this is what arrays it. If you want to call the whole array, I get the value of the whole thing. However, just for giggles, I could just say only give me value for one. So if I refresh the browser now, now it's going to give me two. If I want to get the value of two, give me one, so on and so forth for array. So hopefully that makes sense. So in, sh in summary, single variable will only give you one single value. For multiple variables, you can use one of two options. One of them is your object in which you're going to assign it and you can call any one of them. So for example, if I have an object and I only want to get the name of the site, how do I get that value? So in order for me to get the value for an object, I call the object, then I use dot, and then whatever name within the object that I have. So in this case, I want to get the value for site. I call it site. And if I refresh my browser now, then it's going to give me, so this is my object. And within this object, there's different variable that I've assigned. And I want to pull out the value for site. In this case, it's going to be mark.com. And the next is the array. There's a whole bunch of values. And I want to get the value for position one. In this case, it will be two. So this is what it is. And also, I'm going to delete this out, delete this out, this as well, this as well. And then what I want to show you is that within array, this is also known as multi-dimensional array, you can store different objects. So let's just say var a2 and then So this is my array, and then within the array, I can store objects. So I can say name dot name one ID is one, followed by comma. So this becomes my one, two, three. So there we go. So if you know how it works, so for, let me explain it to you this way. So we have one row, which will be this. Second row, which will be this. Third row, which will be this. So if I call console this, and then refresh the browser, then it's going to show me three arrays. And then within these three arrays, there are three rows. So let me show you another better way to do this. You could use, so far we have been using console.log, but there's another way to show your data in your console, which is called table. So if I refresh the browser now, so now what it does, is it looks like a regular table. So it has an index, like I was saying. 0, 1, 2, that, and then name. So this becomes just like your table. You have a column name, and then, which is at the very top, and then you, in this case, the column name is name, and then you have ID, and then each row has its appropriate value based on that column. So this is how you use objects and array and assign them to a variable. Hey dear, after watching that video, if you felt like, oh my God, that was really good information and I knew a little bit, so I was able to follow through it, but I want to learn more about JavaScript as well as jQuery. And if you ever wanted to have a course in which you get to learn information that that you can actually use to create application for business owners who, are, who is going to pay you to do the work, this course is right for you. And in here, I'm going to share with you the information that I 
personally use to create my applications for business owners who actually have a project for me that I work on. And hence, I give them the information that they want with my code, my programming knowledge, and they get to put that on their website or have their own custom app, and that drives profit for them and hence i get more business for you so the stuff that i'm going to teach you just to give you an example is going to be a real life example meaning all the stuff that you're going to be is not in theories hey if you do this it might work it's it's actually going to work if i'm going to say hey if you do this this is actually going to work where pe business people are going to look for that kind of stuff. So in this course, I'm going to walk you through a step by step by step, everything you need to do it. So I'm going to leave the link in the description for you to click on it. After you get on this page, you can simply just click on this green button to enroll in the course. Or if you want to read through it, you can read through the whole thing. And in here, it tells you like, hey, average salary of a JavaScript developer is 91K and it ranged from 48K to 125K. Hey, I don't know about you, but if you can make anywhere from like 85K per year, that's gonna change most people's life. So if, think about it, will that change your life if you can make 85K a year? So if the answer is yes, then Continue reading it if you want to. It tells you more about like, hey, this is what the course is about. And there are some sample videos in here that I have left it for you to give you an idea of like, hey, this is what the course is and to see if they fit for you or not. And after you're like, hey, this is the course that I want to take. And oh, because I want to learn and master JavaScript. Just click on the enroll button. And then what that's going to do is it's going to get you to this part. And in here, there's a whole bunch of videos in here that I have included and some of the applications that you and I are going to build together that's going to help you increase your JavaScript knowledge. And also, it's going to help you to develop or build your jQuery knowledge as well. And if you don't know what jQuery is or if you don't have a little idea, tell you what jQuery is the grandfather of all JavaScript. No matter how many other frameworks that came out, jQuery is the only one that's been around for more than 10 years. I don't know about any other frameworks that are out there that have been there that long. And then also jQuery has the greatest community in which you can get a lot of help on it. But after taking this course, I don't think you will need it. But what I wanna do is you can take this course you can learn all of this wonderful knowledge in the videos that I'm going to have. But also to take it one step further, because I really want you to be successful, there's a contact button right here. All you do is click on it. You send me whatever question you may have in there. Then I will be able to answer those questions for you. But I want to take it one step further because I always want to deliver more and more and more. If you have any questions, related to this course or related to any other programming course, you can click on that contact button and say, hey, Mark, I have this question. Is there any way we can do a virtual screen share? Which means I get on a computer, you get on your computer, no matter where you are in the world, we can both get on a computer and I can look at your screen and I can tell you, hey, if you move this thing here, and edit this thing here, then you get your end result a lot faster. And that's something no one in this whole our industry offers it, but I wanna offer it to you because I really, truly, genuinely want you to be successful at it. So take this course, Master JavaScript and jQuery, so that way you can create amazing, productive, and profitable app for other business owners. So hope to see you in the course soon.